since I made one of these videos. Um, it's like, uh, makes me anxious because I think it's gonna suck, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. And, um, because I like it. Hopefully you like it. Um, I wanted to talk a bit about what it's like to go from playing power chords on the guitar to having some sort of musical fluency. Um, with music theory and um, my journey from power chords to to music theory um, and I played power chords for for years and I didn't know much about what I was playing other than like some pentatonic scales like anything outside of a minor not even pentatonic scales minor pentatonic scales anything outside of a minor pentatonic scale I was I was lost I didn't I did not know what to do um, and um, I was in a band and there was like talk over me um, about things that I didn't understand. I didn't know, right? I didn't know what a seventh chord was, what a major seventh chord, a dominant seventh chord, minor seventh chord, like all of these things, right? I didn't know how to walk up things. I didn't know how to change keys. I didn't know what notes went together with a, a certain key. Um, and it was frustrating for me. So I decided to go out and learn music theory and um you know i did what most people do i googled stuff and i went to youtube and you get a lot of videos but they have like different starting points they they assume you know a fair amount of knowledge already like they might talk about modes or uh, intervals um and i just didn't know what any of that stuff was so i bought a book and I worked through the book. That worked really well for me. Some people can buy a course and go through the course and that's fine. The book just seemed to match my brain the best. So I thought it would have been cool if I would have had a video um, that just walked me through. These are the things you need to know. Learn these things. Uh, master them and then move on. To the next thing um, would have been really really helpful and I have a bunch of topics here and then about four starting with um, beginning music theory major scale stuff and then ending on like scales um, so you learn how to like solo over certain chords and stuff I think I can only probably get through the major scale part in this video without it being super super long um, so that's what I'm gonna do and most of the time we use the key of C to explain this stuff because it doesn't have any um, sharps or flats. And that's, that's fine, right? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the key of G because it has one sharp in it that will stretch you a little bit when you're, when you're figuring things out. And I think... With just that one sharp in there, it'll make you make you understand it better when you're all done. So the C would always be C D E F G A B C. No sharps or flats. G is really similar. That's going to be G A B C D E F sharp and G. And I'm going to go through that stuff so you don't have to remember all those notes I just threw at you. I just want you to remember the pattern. So a whole step is two frets. A Half step is one fret. Okay. So the major scale pattern is whole, whole, half. Whole, 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 half. That's the seven, seven notes. Whole, whole, half. Whole, 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 half. And I'll put that in the description below. That's the, the one thing that you need to remember. Whole, whole, half. If you can remember that pattern, whole, whole, half. Whole, 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 half. You'll be fine. So it would work like this on the low E string. Stop. 
card. You can hear the do re mi thing, right? And that's all you have to remember is um, that we have two half steps in that whole thing. So if we number these, one, two, three, four. So the half steps between the three and the four, right? I should turn my guitar around so you can see what I'm doing. So actually, let me just do one finger. Half step, full step, full step, full step, half step. You have a half step between three and four. One, two, three, four. And then a half step between seven and eight, or seven in the root. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's it. And that's what that's the major scale. In every in every key, and everything is gonna build off that. All of your chords, all of your scales, all of your modes, minors, majors, diminished, like all of the fancy things that you're gonna read on the internet are all based on that one thing. So here's what I would do. I would practice that on one string, right? Oh, half, oh, 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 half. And I would get that under my fingers and you do in any key, right? We're just doing it in G right now, but you can do it. You can start here. This is D, All right? Now, once you start doing that on one string and you go all the way up, then you start to kind of move it around, right? That's how you, gosh, I hope my guitar was in focus for that. That's how you, you start to get musical that way. I would practice that every day. Once you have that down, you're like, oh, I'm pretty good. I can go from G to G pretty easy or root to root, whatever, whatever key you're in. Then you start to spread it into two strings, right? So now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is your other G. So this is one. So if you go backwards, one, uh, eight or one, seven, six, five, four, three. So now you have all those intervals in combination with the, the intervals you had on the other string. So. start to hear really cool sounding things. And then you hear things that aren't so cool, right? Like this. And then you have to figure out why, right? And there's a, a four and a seven. Both of those are, are not good notes to go together. It has to do with the pentatonic scale. You'll learn more about that later. But just know that, like, you're going to come across stuff like that. You're like, yikes. Is that good or not? It's not good. But uh, one, three sound good. Seven, four sound bad. It, see, nothing sounds good with the four. But the three is okay. But you'll figure, figure all that out. That's two strings. Expand to three strings, and it doesn't matter which ones you do. So three strings. There's your root there, right? That's the G. One, two, three, half step to four, five, six, seven, half step to the root. See, I hit the wrong note in there, but you'll start to hear those. Those will really start to stand out to you. You should automatically hear what well, that's not that's not in the scale right now you can start to put three notes or three strings together
three strings. Same thing. You'll start to hear like these are chords. You don't know what they are yet, but they'll that sound will get in your in your ear. We'll go over those in another video. You know what those are? They're, they're triads. Okay. I'll keep going. Four strings, five strings. Eventually, you're going to get to all six strings. And here is where um, most people might start with their major scale. And I I say you should end here. So. We're gonna go one to two notes per, or uh, two to three notes per string all the way up. So one, two, three, remember half step, four, five, six, seven, half step root, right? And now one, two, three, half step, four, five, six, seven, half step, eight. across and you should be able to do that anywhere here's another here's a G right here so now it's now it's across five strings not six but you know the intervals on uh, the positions of them so you don't have to think about what notes these are you you already know right so one two three four five six, seven, this is the one right here now if we wanted to continue we would typically go one, two, three, but your ear already tells you it's wrong. That's because remember the B string shifts up. It's tuning a half step. So, so now you can go from here to here, all in key. I did, it, I did it briefly here. I connected two octaves. That's like the next thing. So this is your other G. So you have a G here, G here, G here, G here, G here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing. Because you already know the single string, you don't, you don't have to stop. When the when the pattern ends, you don't have to stop. You can keep going. Right. Shift. There's your G. You know that's your root, so you know you start over here, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Now, if you study shapes, you'd have to stop here because you're like, uh, I don't, I can't. There's no more strings. I don't know where to go. But because you understand the intervals and you understand it this way and this way, you can. I would learn that in every key across the neck. So no matter where you are, you're playing a D. D sharp, doesn't matter. So if you're looking to get into music theory, that is exactly where I would start. And I hope to do more of these. Um, this was helpful to you. I would like to know. Um, if you thought it sucked, I'd like to know that too. Um, I I think it would be helpful to me starting out. And if there's, there's anything I did in here that was confusing, just ask me. I will explain it to you the best I can. Um, and that's it. So the next one I think I'll do are diatonic chords, um, which will take the key, you know. We'll go all the way through.
do. I'm not doing them all, but I'll show them to you next time. Uh, cool. See you later.